What's going on everybody? Welcome back. When I first started growing peppers, I heard a lot about hydroponics, specifically crafty hydroponics, non-circulating, just roots down in the water. And so I went down the giant wormhole of YouTube for hours and hours and learned everything I could about it. And I ended up trying it out this year and I've seen some pretty great results from it. So I decided to do a progression video week by week. I'm going to have two plants in soil, two plants in crafty. All of them planted on the same day. They all sprouted at the same time and kind of show you guys the difference between the two. So stick around and we'll get started. Here are the nutrients I'll be using for this video. This is Flora Micro, Flora Grow, and Flora Bloom. It is the Flora series from General Hydroponics. This is what I use for all of my hydroponic stuff. It's, it's a really good mixture. I use one teaspoon per gallon of each one. Okay guys, day one, February 17th. Just barely put them into the soil and the hydroponic nutrients. So I've got just a crafty setup over here, soil over here, and they're gonna stay in that. I did two of each so that way we can get a really good idea of which one's working better. Sometimes if you just have one of each, it's kind of hard to tell. So we're gonna have two of each. Hopefully that'll give us a good idea by the time we're done. It's kind of hard to see, but it says Sriracha Hydro, Sriracha Soil 217. So we'll see how they turn out. Here we are. It is day six, February 23rd. So, so far we are seeing some progress. We've got the hydro plants and the soil plants. Soil plants, this one kind of started growing weird. You've got, it's two leaves here the first ones that come up from the seedling and then you got its second set of leaves right here and they just kind of came up the first set of leaves kind of came up cockeyed off to the side so this one you've got two beginner leaves the first leaves and then you've got the the first set of true leaves coming in right there and then if you look here on these ones the first set of leaves are much bigger they've grown quite a bit more and then if you look really closely you've got the third set so the second set of true leaves come in on that one and then on this one it's a bit easier to see so let's so you can see you've got a set of leaves there got your first set of true leaves there and you've got another set coming in right there and then tiny 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 you can also see another set getting ready to come in so if I had to say I would say the hydro is definitely doing better than the soil it's still early we still have quite a bit to go just so far, we are seeing more growth with these two plants than we are with these two plants. Okay guys, welcome back. Today is March 2nd, it is Saturday, and it's been 13 days since I put these in, in these systems here. So I've got my two in the soil, two in the hydro, but I would say that so far the hydro is beating out the soil. This one here definitely got a little bit bigger than this one. I was looking at it the other day and it looks like the root system when I started, this had a few more roots that were actually in the in the nutrients. So this one wasn't soaking up quite as much. And I think that's why this one's just a little bit bigger. But either way, even with that, this one's still bigger than either of these two. Today is March 11th, day 22. And as you can see, we've got the two hydro plants, the two soil plants. This one is still outpacing this one by a little bit. These two here, they're shorter. They definitely have a lot of root growth going on in there. But overall, so far, I would say the hydro plants are doing better. And once again, these two plants, just soil and water, just normal water right out of the tap, not pH balanced or anything. These two here are with the General Hydroponics Flora series and I'm just using five milliliters of each one per gallon. That's my normal mixture for most of my plants and I just kinda threw some of that in the bottom there. And so far it's working pretty good for those guys. Today is day 27. It's been just about four weeks now and they're looking pretty good. This one right here actually is getting some little bit of cupping on the leaves which I don't really know why because these two have the same exact nutrients, nothing different whatsoever, came from the same jug. Um, this one has been growing a lot better than this one, so I don't know what's been going on with it. That's kind of why I did two hydro plants and two soil plants, just in case I came across something like that, get a better visual on what's going on. These two over here, this one has kind of outpaced this one a little bit, but they're both looking healthy, they're looking good. And seriously, I'm just dying to just rip that thing off. 
So it's been about four weeks now. I think I'm gonna do two more updates on this and take it out to six weeks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in soil and get it ready to start growing outside. That way I'll probably top these as soon as I hit six weeks. Probably get some seven or 10 gallon grow bags and put two in each one and get them outside, get them going. Today is March 27th and it has been about 38 days since I started this whole project. I'm just short of six weeks, but nope. I am done. I am don't want these in here anymore. <laughs> I want to get them out and put them in something that they can actually grow into some bigger plants and healthy plants and not get stunted. I need to get them ready to go outside. So as you can see, we've got the hydro plants over on this side. These two are hydro, those two are soil. I don't know what's going on with that one, but that's like a mutant plant and it has just kind of outgrown everything. But obviously this second hydro plant is still bigger than these two. It might be hard to see, but all of them are putting off flowers, even the ones in the soil. And they all started putting them on within a few days of each other. It wasn't a very big difference. And another thing they all did at, at about the same time. So even though they're all different heights, they all started to get, see that Y where that big flower is starting to come out right there? They all started a Y right at the same time. This one just kind of did it faster once it started, but flowers all over the place starting to at least. All of them started to flower at about the same time. They all started to Y at the same time. These two are a little bit more green than these two are. Other than that though, other than just the height, there's I mean, no difference as far as the health of the plant. This one here, it's got a leaf that's curling right there, but all four of these plants have some healthy root systems going. I'm not complaining about any of them, whether it be hydroponic or soil. They've all got some good, some good roots. They're just starting to get root bound. I need to move them up, move them to something bigger, get them ready to go outside. Overall, I would say hydroponic did better, not just in the size of the plant, but just the overall health. It was, I didn't have to worry about those hydroponic ones at all the whole time I've been growing them. I just, all I really had to do is make sure I had the hydroponic nutrients in there. The other two, you know, constantly checking to see how damp your soil is and wondering if you're giving them too much water or not enough water and not knowing if they're getting the right nutrients. With this experiment, I didn't give them any kind of fertilizer whatsoever. So so you kind of worry if you know they're getting what they need from the soil, which most of the time eventually they're not. They're gonna suck everything up from that soil and then you're gonna end up needing to give it something. But like I said, overall, I think hydropo hydroponics won this one. I'm definitely gonna stick to using it about as much as I do right now, which is pretty often. Here's a top view of all four plants. Right there you got the flowers, everything in there. It's definitely a healthy plant. I don't know if it's just I don't know if it's just these sriracha peppers, but they are a lot more tall and lanky than anything else I'm growing. I haven't topped them at all. They've just been kind of shooting straight up. I haven't touched them. I'm sure as soon as I'm done with this video they will be going in soil and I'm probably gonna be topping one or two of these. Hopefully this video helped you if you're kind of on the fence about trying hydroponics, especially crafty hydroponics that isn't circulating because it's super simple. There's not really much to it other than just mixing your nutrients and it's super effective. I mean, you can see they kind of destroyed these other plants. Still healthy, much more healthy, just a little tall and lanky. Anyways, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone for watching and I will see you next time.